Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be going over the best way to spend your Helix credits. Um, apologies for the lack of videos being uploaded of late but I've been extremely unwell as you can probably hear in my voice, I'm still recovering from it. Um, but thank you ever so much for all the support over the channel over the last couple of days. We've hit 100 subscribers so yeah, I had to get this video out for you today. I will do a video covering 100 subscribers at a later date. But yeah, if you're not subscribed, join the community. Show me that you appreciate the work I do for these videos by hitting the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. But anyway, let's get into this video. Right, so the best way to spend your Helix credits is I'm going to go through now for you. I'm going to tell you the do's and the don'ts. I'll do the do's first because that's what everybody probably wants to watch first of all. So I'm going to go through the best way to spend your Helix credits. Right. So the first honourable mention is the event cubes. Now, if you're after a specific hero, these aren't too bad. They're quite pricey, but if I was to buy these, I've got a chance of landing six heroes, and that is it. So it, if I wanted Machiavelli, this gives me a better chance of getting Machiavelli fragments. The drop rates aren't the best. Um, you've got a 50% chance on every drop for a rare, so you're more than likely going to hit rares. You will get the occasional epic and maybe a legendary. But I did these for Altair when that cube first came out because it was Altair. I thought, I've got some credit saved up. I'll do it. And I didn't pull him once out of 10 cubes. So if I pulled him, it would have been, yeah, great. That was worth the credits. But because I didn't pull him, it was a waste of credits. So you've got to weigh up whether you want to take the risk or not of spending your credits on these. Obviously, if you're pumping money into the game left, right and centre, then this isn't going to affect you. You obviously can go through this farm as many as you want. I see somebody with a five-star Altair the minute the cubes came out. So obviously dropped God knows how much money on it. But if you can do it, you can do it. Right, the best best way to spend your credits in this game is through rift token refills now i'm going to explain why <clears throat> and apologies for my poor score but as i said i've been extremely ill over the last couple of days so i've been a bit in and out right so if i go to the progression rewards i don't know if this changes depending on what level you are because i'm level 50 i've got no way of knowing what it was previously because especially as this is now just been updated this is the first event that this new progression bar has been updated on right you will get far more rewards through doing this by hitting these milestones even if somebody is wailing out and smashing the score over the actual rankings by hitting these milestones you are going to get so much more for your credits than you would it's buying anything else in the game so i mean it's just starting from where i am now there's murat um fragments here there's coins a nice amount of coins dna cube tokens potions uh armor codexes and then when you get to the final two milestones your your rare materials these are end game materials these are what you need to make your tier five weapons armor and accessories with and obviously character specific weapons so if you are unable to rank in the top um six the tier the top 30 like tier six then this is a good way of picking up a rare material on occasion but if you do it these milestones you probably are going to finish in the top 30 um as i said again depending on your tiering if you go to rankings because obviously rank 50 these are the top rewards so if i close this down and go up to this so if i was to finish rank one i'd get 100 murat um fragments or isaac i think that is actually uh five coral um 100 codexes two stone tablets and 500 credits so get a couple of credits back plus obviously all them rare materials and obviously all them hero fragments as well so if i, I know that this scales depending on what brotherhood level you are but um if you obviously can't hit if you don't get these rewards for hitting first place in the lower rewards you'll still get a nice amount of hero fragments for doing that so if you're going for the milestones in the bar i just showed you then landing these rank rewards will just be a nice little bonus as well but yeah i mean i've got just shy of 7k um credits 
if I wanted to on one of the events, I could just go massive and probably wail out and beat probably everybody with the amount of credits I've got. I mean, they're 300 uh, credits per refill, so and then it works out 350 after that, and then I'll show you why. So if I go to refill my energy, come back here. Right, my first one of the day is going to cost me 300 um credits so this will refill my uh token energy by 100 and then once i've depleted that it will say unavailable but you can if i move my head out of the way quickly refresh it down the bottom corner there for 50 units so then once you do that everything becomes available in the store again and you can repurchase them so then technically after that each one of these are going to cost you 350 uh, credits because obviously 300 for the tokens and then 50 to uh, credits for the refresh obviously once a new day happens you can obviously do this again for just your 300 but this is the best way to spend your credits you do not want to spend your credits on intel you can have somebody work in the intel room two people generating your intel for you you can collect uh intel from the daily log um for your daily objectives and obviously over the um four part objective that they have or the six part objective that they have over the um course of an event where you get the first three milestones are usually intel gives you a nice amount in there so you shouldn't really be running out of intel if you do obviously just wait for it to recoup it's not worth spending your credits on the intel uh, again medicines you can farm potions left right and center you can get them through chests you can get them from um work making somebody well at the alchemy room you can get them by placing in the um the progression bar in your helix rift events so there's so many ways that you can get um potions that it's just really not worth buying them with your credits do not do not buy these hero fragments with your credits either you only get free free fragments it's just not worth it you could open a queue for 200 and get more all right admittedly there's a random chance of that happening but you would get more fragments from a cube than you are buying these so it's just not worth it unless you need to live free away from making him a five star or a four star and he's coming up in the helic rift events maybe the juice is worth the squeeze then but any other time it just is not worth it another one that you don't want to spend your money on is resources now there is not a thing on this page that you need to spend your credits on Codexes are extremely, extremely accessible. You can have them crafted in the library, even if they're not rare. You can still probably do small and large depending on what rank you're at or what level you're at or what level you have the room at. You can obviously do your standard missions to get these. You can get these through hitting milestones in the Helic Rift events. Just you should not be that XP thirsty that you need to have these on you all the time. You should always have a nice stash of these so yeah just do not waste your credits on these coins again not worth wasting your credits on uh, i'm coin thirsty i'm in end game and to me one of these isn't even worth a rank up in the elite training room to take to train your hero for the first time in any of their um categories for the first time is 50k coins this isn't even one of them so not worth it and definitely, definitely, definitely do not buy these. As you can see above you, I have nearly 700,000 wood sitting there doing nothing. I've upgraded every single room I can. I've just got no need for them anymore. Um, if you need to upgrade a room and you haven't got enough materials, just go and farm a mission that gives you them as a reward or make them do them in the, oh, I think it's the resources room. You can have them either res uh, resource wood or stone for you. If one upgrade in a room isn't going to make or break your account, if you have to wait a day or two, and if you do need the materials to upgrade that room, you probably sh not at that level required for that room. So, yeah, if you're running out of materials that quickly, then just don't worry about it. You're not going to need it. It's not going to break your account. Just don't waste them on this. And also, do not buy your daily cubes. Um, 
they're 200 units each not really worth it considering you can get your dna cube tokens which give you these you can get these quite easily you can get them through daily objectives you can get them through milestones in the helix rift defense and you can get them from your daily logins these are basic heroes the majority of the time they're only going to drop you uncommon or common heroes which will probably just end up going into your overflow so it's not really worth it as i said if you are going to go for a cube go for the event ones because you're more than likely going to get a hero that you're actually specifically going for so yeah so that is basically the video this is what to spend your credits on please make sure that you use them wisely as i said it can make or break your account if you use them correctly so if you use them for a helix rift event just get a legendary hero up as a quick a star as you can that's going to be far better than wasting it on energy refills just for normal intel or stupid wood resources and things like that so yeah please bear that in mind thank you ever so much for watching the video if you like it drop me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel i love you all i'll see you in the next video take care